Hello, 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 hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Golden Goblet series, day six of our golf club week. Today we are playing on what's the name? It doesn't say on the screen, but it is. Does it? It should say the name of the course. Uh, TPC Summerlin. It's a, uh, you got some firm fairways, some firm greens, medium fast, so uh, we'll, we'll see how we do. I don't pay enough attention to those kind of stats about the courses uh, going into them. Uh, and maybe that's kind of good. What you don't know can't hurt you sort of thing, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we do here. So we're starting with a, a 312 yard par four. It's a dry heat out here today. Little wind, uh, it's downhill, so I think we, uh, we're going to try to send this. We're going to try to send this. Not a good swing. You can look at the right side there. Our speed of it was perfect, but uh, nice. the actual, it wasn't a straight line. That said, we got some distance on it, which which is nice. And uh, we got ourselves a flop opportunity here. It is uphill, so what you do, you just crank. Well, the uphill doesn't really affect us here, but you crank crank the loft a bit just so uh, it doesn't roll. Okay, it rolled, it rolled, it rolled more than I would have liked, but these are also firm greens. Medium fast, right, so here. I suppose it doesn't take much. This okay, it's it's barely moving left to right, but it's moving left to right. It is uphill. Okay, we gotta we gotta practice. We gotta we gotta get to know these greens. Oh. Just a, a hair more speed. Just a hair. That's unfortunate. I would have liked that uh, that nice and birdie to start. To but it's a par. Even par after the Par's ball. also an acceptable way to start. You know, we can we can build on that. We're getting to know the greens and the course and all that kind of stuff. Very little wind. You love to see it. It's way downhill as well. Um, let's just, let's just play it like this. Not a great swing. It's a nice looking tee shot. I mean, John, John is too kind to me. Yeah, these, these greens are fast. This is for Eagle. Okay, that is not bad. So you can see right to left. But then towards the end, it actually starts going a little left to right. Now you just gotta, it's like an equation. You gotta balance it out. It looks like it's starting here a bit more right to left and there's less left to right at the end. So let's let's hope just a slight adjustment. Also 32 feet, but it's half a foot downhill. So the speed is gonna carry us and they are faster greens. I think like they feel faster to me than yesterday. Okay. Honestly, I feel pretty good with how I did that, you know. Um, right, normally a 32-foot putt, I want to go a lot harder on the swing, but the the down the downhill and the and the green speed, I I feel like I you know, read those well enough. Oh. Oof. This is going to be a tough day. Stay composed. We got a birdie. I feel like we should have had a birdie on the first one, but don't worry about it. We're going to stay solid. Um, this is a trippy one. So what we could do is just push up here. There is a good amount of wind. 
as well that should hopefully favor us a bit and uh, carry us to the left half, and, and that would be fine. Let's uh, grip it and rip it. Not a bad swing. I think that's our, our best uh, drive of the day so far. Sweet. Okay. This is a par 5 as well, by the way. So, little wind. Uphill. Um, let's, let's, let's rock that. Let's rock this. I, I feel, I feel good about this. <laughs> I told you I feel good. Oh man. On the green in under regulation. Well done. Okay. Very, it's ever so slightly right to left. It is uphill. A bit, but it's a four-foot putt, so. Oh, baby, let's go. That was an eagle. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. It's the first three holes. It, uh, it only takes one instance to, to rattle you, to rock your world. So let's uh, let's just play every hole. like they, I mean, they all matter. They... they they each count towards our score at the end. It's a great smash. Really good. That might be our, our best drive so far. It's it's a contender. Okay. So, a flop opportunity. Uphill. Little wind. We're going to crank that loft. And uh, let's give her. This should not roll much because of how much loft. Uh, well, it, it again, these greens are tough. They're tough. Ten footer here. This is makeable. You don't give them much and they take it all. All right. John is right. This is makeable. Little, little tricky. It looks like the closer you get to the hole, the the harder it starts to slope down to the right. Um, and it is uphill, which always throws me for a loop. Too much. Way, too, way too much to left. That surprised me, but. And uh, this next putt for par. Again, these greens, like, just because you play well on one course, like, they simulate that very well. In real life, when you golf, um, some greens, it just, they have a totally different feel. So, like, your point of reference gets obliterated. You're used to, like, all right, you're like, that's a 10-foot putt. Normally, I would hit it this hard sort of thing. But you need to establish a new one, and you need to establish it pretty freaking quickly. We're in, there. we're in there again that's that's par if we can if we can get at least you know a par or better on every hole then uh i don't want to say that's a gold because that's that's not a gold and that's not the attitude you want to have but it it really 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 helps your chances I mean, if we parred every hole, that would actually say I mean, that's not that great, right? You'd end up even, which, you know, that could win you day. But, uh, yeah. Okay, uphill, a little wind, a nine iron. We'll get, a, we'll get like, a bit of a bounce. These are firm greens, right? So, being that they're firm, when we when we come down on it, it's going to bounce a little, a little bit higher, a little bit harder. Um, so, I want to be... Careful, there's a bit of wind. All right, let's go. Terrible, terrible swing, uh, slow and fast. I think we didn't get punished here. Uh, right. I wouldn't blame the game if we did though, and I wouldn't have been shocked. Uh, that said, this is a nasty looking putt. That is a nasty looking putt. Oh, come on. 
Come on, man. I'm I'm aiming a little bit more to the left, but if you've watched previous days and paid close attention, a lot of the times I don't aim to the left or to the right uh, enough. Um, but again, it's just because of how fast these greens are that the ball doesn't doesn't break as quickly. Nice putt. But uh, again. You know, I'm not trying to be too hard on myself or expect too much, but you see these areas where it's like, all right, where are we faltering? Okay, let's see what How are we faltering? What could I do to let's stop? Go ahead and drop this one stop faltering. And take it from there. All right, let's uh, let's see. We got a par four, not a not a long par four per se, but yes, 276 yards, not long, but 38 feet up. I mean. It's deceiving, to say the least. So what I'm going to want to do is... Uh, it just means the ball is going to land sooner than you than you expect when it's higher. And when it's lower, it's going to land later than you would expect. So, um, See, also this slope right here. I kind of... I want to I wanna roll up this side, <laughs> ideally... Would be nice. That's why I'm aiming it up there, and we will give it a little extra sauce. Nice drive. John said, "Nice drive." Oh, baby. So you know what? We kind of did what I was intending. We didn't get as up there, but if we had aimed it to the right, that slope, uh, I think it could have it could have taken us pretty pretty far. Now it is sloping left to right, so let's try to aim. A little bit more on the left side here. So if it does roll, it'll roll kind of... Well, it will roll, but it'll roll close to the pin instead of away from it. Um, it's a chip. Um, let's get some practice swings. I don't even know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too used to these uh, these chips. Lately, I don't like the flavor. Uh, is there are faster greens too? So I'm gonna aim a bit more to the left here. Oh jeez, terrible swing. Uh, very slow speed. I. I Looking at a 19 foot putt from here. Uh, no real excuse. It just it's just bad. Just bad. Didn't do what uh, what we needed to do. Very fast uphill. Nineteen foot putt. I think I actually need to go like. This is gonna be weird. Honestly. I'm not too displeased with that putt. That's maybe one of the hardest ones we've had so far. And for the par. Um, I feel like I got the weight good. And we went to the left quite a bit. Not enough, obviously. But we're, we're learning. Uphill. Perfect. A nice putt for you. Perfect. Not too much. Not too little, like just right. right there at three under. Three under. I, I mean, like, honestly, it's not on the last one. Let's see what happens here. technically impressive thus far, but I think given this course, um, this one feels like the hardest to me so far. Um, so let's just uh, kind of keep on keeping on. That said... It's 18 feet up, so we we would we would land short. Let's just let's avoid the sand. Actually, let's avoid. Hopefully, this tree. We did. We 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 threaded the needle. Uh, it's not great. You know what? We can work with it though. We're not in the sand. We weren't getting on the green, anyways. Maybe I should have aimed for the green. We might have. We might have actually. No, we would have gone through the tree. Uh, this is a flop uphill, going against the wind. And crank at the flop opportunity.
You know what? Should have held back a, a little bit. It was, it was a good swing. Just too much loft. This is for birdie. It's a tough birdie. Uphill. It's very fast. Oh, not enough to the right. Oh, man. I, I even added a little bit more at the end. Should have kept going. Right, nice little two-foot putt. Two-foot putt. Oh, my gosh. Decent little putt. <laughs> I almost missed it. Oh, lordy. Okay. Two more. We're, 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 we're holding steady. Eighth hole. This is a par three. Uh, you got a you got a decent amount of wind and it's downhill. So like as far as par threes go, this one's actually kind of nasty. We're gonna pull back on that guy, and we're gonna loft up, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what kind of roll we get here. I think the wind is gonna gonna move it a bit more than like I always. No, it didn't. It's weird. Whenever I'm like not anticipating the wind on these these shorter putts, it it, it takes me more. Um, okay, we're about and then when I am anticipating it, it doesn't do as much. I, I guess that could also have a lot to do with my swing itself. Um, if you have like a perfect swing every time, then it's easier to see how the wind is 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 affecting you. But so I don't want to. I don't want to blame the wind entirely. 18 feet, no no slope up or down, or like, you know, there's no elevation changes, but you know what? We've been under underdoing it a bit the past few putts. I am a god. I'm a god. What you're going to do right now, if you haven't watched Ryan and Dan, uh, when you go and watch their episodes, just write Mouth is God. If you've already watched, go back and, and just let them know. I just want I want you to let them know. We have the ninth hole coming up. If I say it, they won't believe me. If you say it, the, the, they'll be, they're going to be scared about what we're going to do tomorrow. It's nice when you like, you you actually learn something and you apply it, and then you you're like, oh my gosh. He's learning. This is a this is a par five. Grip it and rip it. Very good swing. Very 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 good. Very good. Is this this is the ninth hole as well? 155 yards to go. 155. Really, uh, it's only a foot down, so we can mostly ignore that. Um, but the sand here, I mean, if we if we miss swing, now the seven iron is going to have some carry. Um, Mariah carry. Let's go with the eight. And uh, there is some wind though. Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. We're, we're hitting on a slope as well. Uh-oh. Not a great swing. I think we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to hop over that. Okay, you know what? Beautiful, beautiful. A little bit more to the left, obviously, than, uh, than I wanted. But everything else went according to plan. That feels good. Again, try to try to read this. My mouse is feeling a little weird right now. Maybe it's losing power. I don't know. Do I gotta plug it in? Don't plug it in. That's what cost us. Cost us a gold the other day. Oh, baby, let's go. And 
sending off a power oh wow two eagles <laughs> That is, uh, I gotta say, personally, that is my best performance of the week. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to gas myself up or, or gas you up or wh whoever's getting gassed. I'm not trying to do it, but I think it was important to have my best performance on this course. It really felt, I don't know what it looks like when you're watching, um, but for me, that, that course felt noticeably noticeably more difficult just the, the way the greens were and the greens have been the deciding factor uh you know in this game i said that at the very very start of the week and it's true <laughs> it's true um you know but man i had a real blast and it's nice to not see any red no bogeys two eagles as well i mean that last that was that was that was clutch clutch <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please, please give a give a, a give a like, give a thumbs up. It helps me greatly, and and you know it, it helps promote the episodes and stuff. And that's fun. That's cool. Uh, and of course, please make sure you're watching all perspectives and you're liking and commenting on all as well. Um, you know, likes across the board is. That's that's ideal. That's ideal. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow for the final day, the final course. Until then, peace out.